Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be flipping the rear differential to make this cart drive forwards because otherwise, if we started this thing up, hit the gas pedal, this thing would drive backwards because the output shaft from this engine spins the opposite direction uh, from the Suzuki Samurai engine. So let's take this rear axle out and uh, disassemble it. We'll have to cut the differential cover off the back of the axle housing and weld on a new differential cover. And I'll explain why later on in the video. Um, and uh, then we'll have to flip the differential upside down, 180 degrees, bolt it back on, and uh, reassemble the axle and bolt it all back together. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to um, upgrade the heim joints in the rear. I originally ordered some heim joints that were pretty small and the longer I look at them I just think they're gonna be way too small for how big this cart turned out to be uh, so I went ahead and bought some much bigger heim joints um, that I already installed on the front and now I just need to put them on the rear as well so that they match so let's get to it Here's a little trick I learned to getting off a seized brake drum. Works pretty good. In order to remove the axles from the axle housing, you need a slide hammer. So of course, I had to make my own using some scrap metal I had laying around. Who needs a hydraulic jack when you've got air ride? So I've got the axle housing taken apart. Next step is to cut off this cover, which is welded on, and I'm gonna replace it with a round cover that doesn't have this indention here because whenever I flip the differential around, there's a gear that's on this side usually. Now it's gonna be on this side, and this indention would be hitting the gear 
So I'm gonna have to take this cover off, put one on there that's round, doesn't have this indention so that it'll allow that differential to flip 180 degrees. Now it's finally time to put the differential back in upside down. So while I have the axle out, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade these heim joints. You can see the one I have in there right now is pretty small. And this is the one I'm gonna to upgrade to. Uh, they're just quite a bit bigger. You can see the difference side by side. So I got the two upper links done, trimmed off about 5 eighths of an inch in the tube to make up for the longer heim joint and bung. So let's weld these two back together and then we'll do the same thing to the lower links. You can really see the size difference in the heim joints here.
Now we just need to top off the fluid and we're good to go. All right guys, thanks for watching. Uh, that wasn't the most fun job on this cart, but unfortunately we're gonna have to do it again on the front axle, so we have that to look forward to. In the next video, I'm gonna be redoing the upper shock mounts in the rear. I'm surprised no one has actually called me out for the upper shock mounts in the rear that I have right now because uh, they're kind of sketchy, uh, to be honest. I kind of had this idea in my mind how I wanted to finish them up, and I kind of just halfway built them and never finished them and the more I looked at them the more I hated them so uh, I'm gonna just completely scrap the upper shock mounts that I built and redo them now that I have a really badass uh, tubing bender so I'm gonna take all that nonsense off I'm also going to replace the really tall shocks that I have in the rear with the shocks that I have in the front so that they match all the way around. All four shocks will be the exact same size so that whenever I air out the cart and air it up, it should go up and down at the exact same speed front and back instead of the front dropping a lot faster than the back. So uh, it'll be a smoother drop and raise. So that'll be nice. So keep an eye out for that video in the next week or two. If you like this video, hit that like button. Let me know what you think about this project in the comments. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, share this video with your friends. Help me grow this channel. And pretty soon here, you guys are gonna see a video of me ripping around on this thing. So stay tuned, it won't be long, I promise you. See you in the next video.